Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And it's a double dose of anime action figures today, because I have all this anime figures, Pokemon figures, and a brand new... Sailor Moon action figure, which I did not have her in my collection. But before we get on to the review itself, this is a thank you to all of you who have viewed my channel for helping me reach 2,000 views since March 9, 2024. Thank you for all your support. You guys are awesome. And I hope you continue to show your support as we get monetized to actually have merch here on the channel. Yeah, like, actually, so you can actually get a hat from Eddie Hill's Reviews. When we get watch time up, we can give you all merch for all your support. So when I have the chance to get up to that point, you'll have a chance to get an Eddie Hill's Reviews t-shirt and a hat for your support of this channel so that would be nice nice for you guys to actually have a hat and me doing my classic rock on and rock out symbol on the shirt and you would pass it on to your friends and help the channel grow even further so when we get to that point i'd appreciate it if you would go and rewatch all my old videos, because those are some of my favorite videos, and help me build up my watch time. If you haven't, all the videos in the past are still linked on my channel, just because they're there. If you want to watch them all, I've got quite a few great videos. But now it's time for the review itself, and we're going to review all this Pokemon stuff before we get on to the Sailor Moon. First, we got these little pixelated figures. Someone made these. We got Charmander. Little Charmander. Charmeleon. And Charizard, the three evolutionary forms of Pokemon. And I love these, find these so much at the thrift store, I picked up this three set. Why not? It was awesome. Only one I couldn't find was Ivysaur, which was a real letdown. But now we look at the Squirtle evolution set. I couldn't find the evolved form of Squirtle. So that's a shame I couldn't find that one either. But we got Blast Toys and we got Squirtle here. They look nice. And here we got Venusaur and Bulbasaur. And yes, I can't help the impressions. And we got a Pikachu. Pikachu! And this Pokemon, I don't know who he's supposed to be, but if you know, then leave me a comment. All the newer Pokemon stuff I'm just not as into. Except there are certain ones I know. Next on the list, we got these big Pokeballs. This one opens up, and it's a white Pokeball with a red line. I don't know what Pokeball this is, but you can put stuff in here and make it seem like you're catching something. So just because we want to show off that gimmick, we'll put this guy in there and close her up and see how it looks with a Pokemon inside. Uh, he's probably too big. Now let's go with this one from Pokemon XYZ. And then we reconnect that. And then we call it a Pokemon. Ain't that cool? Sorry about that timer, it goes off every time. So yeah. That timer had to interrupt me for a few seconds. But yeah, you can catch a Pokemon in here. 
I don't know what this was used for, but I definitely like collecting all the different Pokemon Pokeballs. They're fun and cool looking. I definitely look forward to collecting more of these. But yeah, this one we can catch in the Pokeball and be like, we caught a legendary. But yeah, definitely going to go straight on my shelf. It's a shame it doesn't have a hinge or anything. But it'll make a nice display piece, if I do say so myself. And speaking of these Pokemon, these are both from XYZ. I don't know their names because I don't know as much about XYZ Pokemon as I should. Next on the list, we got this Pokeball, which you do this, and then you turn it around, you press this button, and pops goes the Pikachu. And yes, I got this Pikachu at the thrift store as well, but you can make it seem like he's coming out of the Pokeball, be like, Pikachu! And yes, this is going straight on my shelf, this is just too cool. I love some gimmicky Pokemon toys. Next, we got some Pokemon plushies. I love picking these up. We got this gigantic Pikachu, which I just love Pikachu so much. That's why I picked this gigantic one up. And he's got a hook, so you can hang him up on your wall or something. He doesn't have any articulation. He's just a plush. But he's going straight on my Pokemon shelf. Next on the list, we got this Psyduck plush. So we got another Pokemon plush of a vintage character I do not own in my Pokemon first season collection. It's going straight on the shelf. Next, we got a Diamond and Pearl Pokemon keychain of Piplup. This is one I do remember. And ain't this a little cutie? It's a keychain. No, ain't that cute. But now we're going to look at our brand new KO SH Figure Arts Sailor Moon. And yes, I finally have Sailor Moon because I'm watching Sailor Moon on DVD. Before we look at the figure itself, let's look at the packaging. Got a nice product shot of her with her different hands. Sailor Moon. And yep, it says Sailor Moon up there. 20th anniversary. Udasaki. Sailor Moon. Definitely glad to have this in my collection. And she looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. Got some warning information in Japan. J Japanese, I don't know much about, so I don't read that stuff. Because I can't read Japanese. But now we're going to look at Sailor Moon herself. She's really well articulated. Legs can bend. Some poses. Arms can bend. Ball joint. Ball joint. Another ball joint. Head is on a ball joint. Hair can move. Ain't that cool. Hands can move a little bit. I'm afraid of breaking this because this is a knockoff figure. And speaking of knockoffs, we're going to get her standing up. If I can get her to stand up, we might have to get her stand out of the bag. And then do a comparison with the KO SH Figure Arts Balma. Here we go. Now... She does have some different faces as well, as you can see in the bag. I just don't want to lose all the accessories, so I hold on to them. Oh, oh, I just popped out a stand piece. Ah, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ah, there it is. Once I get the stand put together, you can put her on her stand, and it helps her to stand up, because she doesn't stand up too well. So now we put the stand in, we hook her up to the stand, like so, make sure she's strapped in safe and sound, 
And now we got Sailor Moon standing on her stand. And this looks so good. I'm definitely going to put her on my shelf after this. But now for comparison, here's another KO SH Figure Arts figure. It's military grade. Balma. And yeah, she has a lot better stand-in than Sailor Moon or Udasaki does. Definitely glad I picked her up. She's definitely going to be in my collection for sure. Probably wondering, how much did I pay for her? Well, I paid 24 bucks for this. Is this worth 24 bucks? I'd say yes. If you could find this KO for 24 bucks on eBay, pick it up if you're a collector trying to get her for your collection. She is worth the money. And thank you for subscribing to my channel, helping me get 4,000 subscribers. And thank you, all my viewers, for viewing my channel. You guys are awesome. But before I end this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.